Those who have died before, what did it feel like and how did you die? A guy I used to work with did a lot of sailing and actually drowned once before being resuscitated. He said that the last thing he remembered before going out was this feeling of absolutely peaceful serenity. Man, absolutely everyone is repeating peaceful serenity. Kind of comforting, I guess. My heart stopped in the hospital. While I was on the bed with all the staff running around, I was quite stressed. But as soon as I felt the heartbeat stop, I got instantly lightheaded, probably blood pressure drop. Vision became distorted. But the only thing I could think of was, well, that's how it ends. And I did not care at all. I was indeed very peaceful and kind of euphoric. For me, that moment lasted quite long, even if it was only a couple of seconds. And I had no thoughts about family, my girlfriend, friends, anyone I would leave behind. Just comforting, cozy feeling, thinking about how good that moment felt. The brain probably releases so many good feeling hormones when it senses imminent death. Then, as soon as the heart restarted, I started laughing so bad while feeling pain again, and the stress came back right away. So, the moments before death suck, you are stressed to hell, fully conscious you might die. But when it does stop, best feeling I ever felt in my life. I can agree. I also was about to drown and when I realized I would die and I could do nothing, there was just peace. Same, we crashed a catamaran into another at full speed. After jumping into the water, thanks Titanic, our boat smacked down on me, pushing me deep under, caught in the sails. Was beautiful, a beautiful blue world, no issues with breathing, just timeless beauty. When I got up, I could only say blue for an hour or so, but yeah, last time I went sailing. I had something similar, no drowning, but as a kid, my friends and I were playing dodgeball on a lake beach in February in Pennsylvania. Lake was not frozen, but definitely cold. Sure enough, my brand new Wilson volleyball ended up in the water, so of course I decided to strip down to my shorts and run in after it. The second I touched the water, I cramped up, but decided to keep swimming after the ball. The ball floated out past the swimming area boundary, and once I eventually reached it and turned around to swim back, I saw how far the beach was and decided, meh, too far, I'm okay here, and actually slowly sank under water in indescribable comfort. It was slow motion and just felt like cozily falling asleep. Thankfully, I snapped out of it and swam back. My friend said I was a light blue color and shook so much I could mix a paint can. Same. I was in rough waters trying to save a friend, and wave was so strong it threw me against a rock, and I think I passed out as a result of that. I didn't even feel the hit to the rocks. I knew I hit because people were witnessing the events, and when I came back I was a bloody mess. A man saved me and I was resuscitated. Friend didn't make it. I felt calm, peace, nothing before losing it. Cardiac arrest at age 23. I did not realize what was happening but began to feel lightheaded and sat down, and then remember feeling an incredibly brief, overwhelming peace and comfort, followed by absolute nothingness. My heart was kept going by CPR until paramedics came with a defibrillator. Becoming alert again at hospital was painful and brutal, which I think was mostly because CPR, when done correctly, is gnarly. Well, this is strange. I also went into cardiac arrest at 23 years old. I had an allergic reaction to something called contrast, I believe. I was suffering from extreme migraine and cluster headaches, so my doctor had ordered a CT scan for me. So what I remember was saying, I don't feel so good. Then everything going from dark to light. I can recall a feeling of serenity, almost peacefulness. I'm almost embarrassed to say, I saw the light, but I can vividly recall being blinded by a very bright light, like staring into the core of the sun itself. I couldn't tell you if I saw this for five seconds or five hours. In my recollection, it seemed blissful. When I fully awoke, I didn't know, but it was the next day. I was in a hospital bed, alone in a strange room with the lights now dimmed, and I kept saying to myself, where am I? So after a few minutes, I decided to get out of bed for some strange reason. I was scared, confused, and my chest was killing me. I found out a little later when the doctor and nurse came in and told me what happened. The rhythm of my heartbeat was slightly offline at some point, and maybe even stopped. They zapped me, I was told. The black and blue marks on my chest were terrifying once reality sunk in, and for years I told myself the light I was seeing that day was from the ceiling lights. But in my mind and heart, I truly felt that this light was almost some sort of divine intervention. It sounds so silly even typing this out. So much so, I considered using a throwaway account just to share this. The moral to my story is, I don't know what really happened. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It changed me. Sometimes for the good things I've done, but also for some of the reckless situations I put myself through and justified my actions. I found volunteer work at the homeless shelter and a food pantry, but then I'd ride my motorcycle in a dangerous manner. The good and bad. This will be 20 years ago in March. Not a day goes by that I don't think about it. Thanks for letting me vent about this. Like I said, I found this to be embarrassing for quite a while. Good morning and good day. Oh my god, that's is so scary. Did they find a cause for it? 
I've had open heart surgery before, but this was still just a one in a million thing that no one could have predicted. My cardiac team's best guess is the electrical signals in my heart were disrupted by scar tissue. All in all though, highly recommend that as a way to go. If I weren't resuscitated, I would have never known what happened and did not suffer in the slightest. My dad had a cardiac arrest, mid-sentence, but they managed to resuscitate him after 30 minutes, which resulted him being severely brain damaged. As his heart was good and his breathing, it took 10 days, I believe, without life support for him to pass. He was so brain damaged, he couldn't even swallow. His eyes were just staring at nothing. I hope he felt nothing when it was happening or time to leave us. I was near death after two perforated ulcers caused me to bleed out one night. I had vomited a lot of blood and was basically going into shock. I was in the ambulance and decided that I just wanted to go. I was having trouble breathing, so I decided to just stop breathing and I closed my eyes and it was like falling asleep until I felt like someone punched me in my chest and I gasped back to consciousness. Ulcer happened to me but I didn't vomit. Instead, I dumped blood. The feeling was you are going to pass out. It's like you are so sleepy you are about lose consciousness. Blood pressure down to 80-50. I drove off a cliff on my 19th birthday. Accidentally, no drugs involved. I don't remember anything but the feeling. I was happier than I've ever been, and I felt safe and loved. And then I was pulled back and it was agonizing. I was pretty suicidal for several months because I wanted to go back. Someone I knew said this earth is like a hell you do not want to come back to. Thank you for sharing this. My mother died recently, and my deepest fear was that she was scared and in pain during the actual death. I'm going to choose to believe you and the dozens of other people in this thread, and hope that she felt loved and safe. Same. I lost my father recently, and in his search history the last thing he had typed was, chest hurts while lying down, but when we found him, he just looked like he was sleeping blissfully. There was even a hint of a smile on his face, so I've been wondering since then, and this has helped a lot. Dirt bike accident where I was clotheslined by a rusty chain at about 25 miles per hour. I was partially decapitated, arteries and windpipe broke apart. I was flown in a helicopter to a hospital and remember the guy on the helicopter continuously talking to me, telling me not to fall asleep. I fought but did go to sleep died. It really does just feel like you are going to sleep, peacefully. I was revived a few minutes later at the hospital, where I remember coming back and awake for maybe a few seconds before I was either put under or blacked out, then woke up a day or so later on a bed with a tube down my throat in the ER, met the pilot and guy who kept talking to me a few weeks later in recovery, owe them my life. I'm drunk right now because it's Saturday and I'm reading these comments, and yours was so brutal even imagining your injuries made me tear up. I'm so happy you're still with us. Don't go anywhere. Insulin overdose. I died twice in my partner's arms. It felt like going to sleep, as essentially it was. I remember being in a dream state as I stopped breathing. I felt at peace. My heart stopped for little over a minute each time. No tunnel of light or choir of angels. Just a world fading to black and a deep sense of serenity. Did you have consciousness, like, did you hear your own voice or understand what happened to an extent? Or just nothing, like, was there anything like sense you remember or literally just empty nothing? From what I remember, no conscious, no voice in my head. It was as if I was in the black from transiting from a waking dream to that timeless moment everything fades to black, if that makes sense. But it was the peaceful serenity that got me, and it was my partner's sobs that awoke me as her father was in the room as well. I heard them talking but couldn't understand them each time I awoke. But the peace and serenity was like nothing I ever known or have known since. I was run over when I was very young. I have a memory of floating over white buildings with people waving out of the windows. I died four times on the operating table trying to remove a blood clot on the brain. No idea if this was a dream or something real. I had the same, looking down from above and seeing myself and the paramedics. A memory as clear as day and feeling very calm. Didn't know this at the time. Something, septic or infection in my colon, probably from a carrot virus, caused my body to go into fever, shock, ambulance, and then hospitalized. Minutes after being hooked up to everything, I lost all vitals, flatline, shit my pants, and then nurses performed CPR in front of my ex-fiance. I came back and she was crying and I was like, did I faint and shit my pants? No, for a minute you died. I still have the pajamas I left the hospital in. Fainting and anesthesia felt the same in terms of memory. I wonder if it's hurt my heart more than my brain. Carrot virus? That's what the senior doctor thought because I was eating raw carrots. Clean your carrot shaver. Oh snap, I thought it might have been a typo, but this is a thing? New fear unlocked. Physician assistant here. There's no such thing as a carrot virus. However, carrots and other vegetables can occasionally be contaminated by a virus or bacteria. Kind of like every now and again, you'll hear on the news that a certain lettuce is being recalled due to suspected contamination with E. coli or listeria. CDC recommends always washing any raw fruit or vegetable you plan on eating. 
My aorta dissected and they had to cut the blood and oxygen to my brain for 4 minutes 30 seconds. That was when the surgeon got my wife on the phone and told her he didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't really notice anything. I was awake 6 hours later and made them pull my tube within an hour of being awake. Scared the shit out of the young lady sweeping the floor. A few days later, and I went septic. That was worse than my aorta. That night, I know I was real close to checking out. The people that kept me alive are amazing. The best way I can describe that night is that it felt like I was walking across a bed of coals with gas gasoline soaked clothing on. It felt like my veins were filled with hot tar. Every second of existence was fire, and I wanted to be put out. There was a moment where I think I met my own self. My ID, maybe? It wasn't like an ego moment when tripping. This was like me talking to me, in the most basic sense ever. I asked myself if I thought I could make it. I could hear the people doing the things to keep me alive, and I knew I could just go to sleep and it would be over. And it wasn't really a fight to choose to live, but it was a choice too. I just went to my space and held out for a bit, and then a few days later I was getting better. Better. I was out from sepsis for almost three times as long as I was out for open heart surgery. A lot of people will say that you only die when you can't possibly be brought back, but the people that brought me back all tell me I died as close to real death as you can get, twice in a week. My mom had surgery, and after they finished, they wanted to give her some pain medication to wake up on. They accidentally gave her something paralyzing, which closes down every muscle, also the heart. She knew she was dying but couldn't say anything, as you also lose your ability to speak. She died, but they noticed last minute and revived her, but she was gone for a couple minutes. She says she saw the white tunnel light and then saw herself from above the corner of the room, laying there lifeless. She says it was very peaceful and not frightening at all, almost like coming home. My mom does not believe in life after death or anything that could be a bit supernatural, so I believe her. I've heard many stories like it afterwards. My mom had the same experience when she nearly died giving birth from blood loss. The whole seeing everything from above your body. She said it was surreal and felt very calming. She is gone now, to a brain tumor. I take some comfort from knowing that she was likely at peace. 